Hey Taurus, my Taurus fam. Taurus is my sun sign, so you know I am very excited to do this reading. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get into it. So I have pre-shuffled, but I'm going to do this shuffle here for you guys now. Let's see what's going on with Taurus, sun, moon, and rising for the first half of March. Ooh, don't want to shuffle, huh? First half of March, March 1st through to the 15th. Yeah. All right. All right. And this is a general reading, so keep in mind that I'm reading for a lot of people. So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Yeah. Okay. What's going on with Taurus? Sun, Moon, and Rising. March 1st through the 15th, 2018. For Taurus, the bull. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus. What are we going to do yet? Okay. One more shuffle. Taurus. Okay. Overall energy. Ace of Swords. Brand new inspiration. New insights are coming in. Um, new beginnings, yes. Um, but I'm think I'm seeing new insight. Like there's some brand new information that's coming in for you. What else? This is the overall energy here. We got yeah, which is leading to a brand new start. Okay, um, and we also have some five of cups energy. But I'm feeling like there are some of you. There are some of you, and then also um, we've got judgment. Okay, now there are some of you that um with this ace of swords energy you know it is leading you on a brand new journey but you know it's not without heartbreak of some sort something you guys you guys found something out um and because of the because the five of cups is here i'm gonna say for some of you it has to do with re a relationship maybe you found out some really some uh, information about a partner um and uh, that's leading you guys on a brand new journey, either together or maybe separately. Um, this could be a breakup. Uh, but also with the judgment card here, um, I'm feeling like there's a calling. And that could be that could very well be what this Ace of Swords is talking about. There's a calling here that you're 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 waking up to. Um, and it's going to lead you on a brand new journey with the fool, but there are some things you're going to have to leave behind with the five of cups. So that could cause some heartbreak. And for some of you though, I mean, you're either moving past this heartbreak or you're just not paying attention to it at all. You're not paying attention to the negativity of the situation. Some of you may be way more focused on the two of cups that you still have behind you rather than the three of cups that have spilled. All right, so let's get into the story for it. The lovers, okay. For some of you, this does have to do with a relationship and the seven of swords. Yeah, for some of you, there was, somebody was cheating somewhere. Somebody was cheating. Um, but the lovers here says that this is not a situation that was just like, you know, um, you know, somebody made a wrong choice or like maybe if you were the one that um, was cheated on, it's not like this is a situation where you made the wrong choice in, in dating some, or in deciding to date somebody. No, it's more a lesson of uh, a deep spiritual lesson. This is like maybe maybe the ace of swords, maybe you're not so surprised about the cheating, but what you're more what you're seeing more in the ace of swords is a pattern. You know, a cycle that's been going on. Um, if you're in a twin flame situation, um, maybe you're moving out of a karmic situation. Like say if you're divine masculine, um, you have finally become aware of what the situation is, who this person is to you as far as like the twin flame situation. And you're realizing how you've been kind of cheating the situation with your twin in the lovers here. Um, in relation to maybe a cycle that's being brought to light you could be, um, with the Seven of Swords, you could be realizing how you've been cheating yourself. The lovers tends to be, a, uh, uh, if, it's, if it doesn't mean a relationship, it means a choice, okay? It can also speak to the union of, of masculine and feminine energies within yourself, the union 
within yourself, your relationship to yourself. So in that sense, if you have been, if the Ace of Swords for you is a, um, the illumination of a cycle, you're realizing just how much you've been cheating yourself. But you're, and, and so now it's embarking you on a brand new journey with the Fool because now you're able to move forward in a different way. Granted, there's going to be some heartbreak. Um, you, you, once you start realizing what's really been going around on around you, you, all these cups are going to start spilling and you're just going to be like, what the fuck, man? Like, damn, or please excuse my language. Um, you know what I mean? But luckily you still have those two cups there. So you can move forward in a much better way. And you're going to, because the fool is here. That's what this is. Yeah. 10 of wands. Yeah. Burden. Now, Torrens, we can carry a burden. I mean, we really can, but look, the three of swords, somebody was, somebody got cheated on or somebody got somebody, not if you weren't cheated on, you were, you are realizing just how overburdened you are in this relationship. You are realizing that um, you're carrying most of the weight here. And the five of cups energy is showing up because you're like, you're coming to the realization that you have to move on. You can't do this anymore. Granted, I just said, you know, Torrens, we carry, we can really carry some weight, you know, but it comes a point where enough is enough. We will do, Torrens will do just about anything we can for our loved ones. But if we're not receiving in return, if this is all just take, take, take and no give back, then we need to walk. We need to drop all those wands and say, I'm done with this. At least until you can shape up, I'm done. But we know, Torrens, we know once we're really done with something, we are really done. We are really done. And to me, this 10 of wands is saying to me, you are really, <laughs> really done. Okay. Some sort of brand new information flip that switch for you. Maybe you were on the fence about it. Maybe you were kind of like, oh, I don't know. Is this really what we, what I think it is, blah, blah, blah. Some sort of information comes to you, either has already come to you or is going to come to you in the beginning of March. And you're just gonna, that's just gonna be, that's it. The straw that broke the camel's back, done. The straw that broke the bull's back, <laughs> yeah. Next we have the six of swords with the six of wands. Interesting, I like that a lot. So for this part of the story, you're moving on. You're really, really done. But the Six of Wands says you moving on is a huge victory. Why? Because you're choosing yourself. You are choosing to honor yourself. And that is one of the greatest victories of all. Of all y'all. <laughs> okay. Second half of the story. We have the King of Pentacles and Justice. So Taurus, you're showing up here. Now, please don't get wrapped up in the, um, in the gender identification. Gender has nothing to do with this here. This is about energy and the King of Pentacles is very stable. The King of Pentacles has his finances in check. He knows what he wants and he works steadily towards it. He's stable, he's a, he's a leader, a firm, um, uh, just leader. And in this sense here, it's saying justice is being served to you, Taurus. And you will move forward. I'm really feeling like, especially with the King of Pentacles here, you will move forward successfully. Nobody's going to stop you. Nobody's going to get in your way. No matter what obstacles are going to come up, understand that with justice here, the universe is definitely on your side, Taurus. Definitely on your side. Okay. You've got the support. And to be quite honest, you've got the personal stability to do whatever it is you know you need to do to better your life. So rely on that. Yeah. Next, the hermit and the emperor. Ooh, okay. So you're gonna you're gonna be taking some time away. Whatever is going on with this ace of swords, whatever, whatever's going on here, this change. And now look, I know we are not, Torrens are not really good with change unless we absolutely have to. And then this is one of the situations, the one of the rare situations I feel like where Taurus, you'll really be okay with this change because you realize what was going on. And if you don't really realize it yet, there's going to be a moment of introspection here with the hermit that is going to allow you to see why you're really okay with this being done. And you're gonna take control over your life with the emperor and say, enough is enough, I'm moving on. So that's why I'm saying you're okay with this change, or at least you're going to be okay with this change eventually, because you're really going to see the light 
of the situation and you're going to want to move forward. You're going to want to take control back and say, enough is enough. I'm not allowing this in my life anymore. Okay. Um, I am being called to speak to zodiac signs here. Uh, we've got Gemini with the lovers. We've got Libra with justice. We've got Virgo with the hermit. I don't know. I think Aries is the emperor. These are any one of the signs that you could be dealing with here. But I also, I really, I'm, I really don't want to, I'm really not so inclined to do that just because we're talking about energy here. But if that helps, if that resonates with you, if that helps you put something into perspective, there's that. Finally, in the story, we have... Oh man, the Ten of Cups with the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. This could be leading to a brand new start for you, Taurus, with someone new, maybe an Earth sign possibly, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, with the Page of Pentacles here. But also what I'm getting is as you move forward, you may feel like the Page of Pentacles in some sense, but understand that you're not in any way, shape or form. You are the king of pentacles, but you, as you step out on this new journey, you may feel like the page of pentacles. Okay. Um, but understand that you are, this is leading to whatever steps you're taking to, to move forward with your life, with this brand new information that comes about, um, you are working, actively working towards achieving the 10 of cups that you truly want and you know you truly deserve. And I say that because I'm going to go back to what I said originally in the beginning of the reading about how this is not just some willy nilly, oops, I made a mistake and now I got cheated on. No, you were with this person for a reason. Um, in many cases, if you say you're on a twin flame journey, this is a karmic situation. Well, in any case, it's a karmic situation. doesn't matter if you're twin flame or not. But it's a karmic situation in that you're learning a valuable, a deep and valuable lesson here. This is like a major life lesson. And all of this, understand that all of this is in service of facilitating that 10 of cups that ultimately you know you want and deserve. Okay, so whatever you're, whatever you're going through here, really, really, really make sure you take the time to utilize the energy of the hermit and the introspection that's going to come of this to really learn the lesson of this situation so that you can move forward in a better way and not have to deal with this anymore and not have to attract things like this anymore. Literally, learn the lesson and be done with it. Just be done with it. Yeah. Okay, Taurus. So that's the first half of your month. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys for the second half. Take care.